Hello and welcome to FX Street, coming to you live from Core Finance in the heart of London. This is an exclusive. We have Frances Rivola, who is the president himself of FX Street, uh, down the line from Barcelona. And, well, we're going to talk about what's been going on in Catalonia over this weekend. So thank you very much, Frances, for coming on to the show. What's your take on everything going on over there? Well, my take, I, I'm still in shock of what I saw and what I did yesterday. It was a terrible day for all of us. It was a very sad day for democracy. It was an extraordinarily bad day for Spain. And, and I, 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 don't know, I don't know what to say. It was, uh, I'm still in shock. I mean, certainly from the world media, we, we looked upon it, albeit it was, it, it's been called an illegal referendum. When you look at democracy, uh, people have the right to, to be heard, to, be, have a ref, to have a referendum, to, to get their voice across. And, uh, and I think globally, we, we were quite disappointed to see what felt like quite a heavy-handed reaction from the police. And we're seeing 800 people have been have been injured. Do, do you feel that was an overreaction from the police? It was absolutely disproportionate. Yeah. So they, they came here to give us a, le a lesson. So we, 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 with, with this willingness to vote, we put uh, the, the state, the Spanish state, in uh, crossroads and they clearly had the, the will and the orders of uh, teaching us a, a lesson that this would not be uh, tolerated and this cannot happen ever again. So they clearly came uh, to, to, to destroy and to, to hurt as much as possible. And is there, and, and on the back of this, well, I'm, I'm sure this isn't the last we're going to hear from it. What does it now mean? What, what are the next steps now um, for, for the Catalans? What are you going to do in reaction to this? Well, yesterday the Catalan president uh, announced that as, as the yes won the, the referendum by far, mm -hmm. Uh, they would keep going with their agenda. That was that in the next few days they will pass to the Catalan Parliament the, the, the decision or the proposal to declare the independence of Catalonia from Spain. And this was their commitment before uh, doing the referendum. And this is what they are plan to, to stick with. So I, I expect uh, that uh, escalation of, not violence, because we've been, uh, the, the Catalan rise has been a very peaceful movement. Even, I don't know if you saw uh, yesterday's videos of, uh, populace, of police charges people were defending themselves without uh, striking back. They were just uh, holding police and not leaving the, the, the polling stations, uh, trying to exercise their, their right to vote. So I don't think there will be uh, riots or escalation of violence, but uh, there is a strong willingness here that uh, this is uh, something that uh, we are going to, to do and we have to keep, keep doing it and, and, and hold uh, all the aggressions and with the, the better smile you can. But this won't stop us. There is also scheduled a general strike for tomorrow. We just had an internal discussion today about what we had to do. We decided that we will go for the strike and see, see what, 
what's next? No, nobody knows. Nobody knows. And, and as our viewers can probably see, there's there's a bit of activity behind you. Um, just explain what what your staff are, are, are going to be doing now at midday. Yeah, now everyone uh, that it's uh, uh, in favor of. Uh, going to protest, uh, there is a, uh, there is now a stop. Everyone has to go down to the streets from 10 to from 12 to 12:10 to to show uh, our, our our position against what happened yesterday. Understood. And so I won't keep you that long. I'm sure you want to, to go and have your your voice heard. Um, and, and join your staff um, in, in the peaceful um, protest. Exactly. Just before you go, um, can you just explain to our viewers what potentially this, this means for, for Spain and the rest of Europe and, and maybe potentially what that could mean for the Euro? Well, for Spain, I think that uh, it's a very bad uh, Think for their image. Everyone is is seeing that the democracy in Spain is in its uh, it's long it's far away from being a, a real democracy. And unfortunately, totalitarianism and even fascism is still very well rooted in the in the in the power circles. And in, I would dare to say, in more or less half of the society, and in, intolerance is all over the place. It's true that uh, uh, Spanish uh, uh, government and the uh, Spanish PP, the, the the party that is ruling the, the the government, they have been playing with matches the last few years. Uh, trying to raise uh, Spanish people against Catalans. Uh, first, with war, uh, when we try to do a new referendum, that they try to collect signatures against it, mm -hmm. then turn it down through the constitutional court and so on. And well, it's it's been uh, they've been feeding. Uh, a, a sentiment against uh, Catalans and why we speak another language, why we think different, why we feel that we are Catalans and not mm -hmm. the Spaniards. So now it's very difficult to undo this this sentiment in very rooted in, in more or less half of the population. So they they, they are in cro in a in a crossroad and they don't know how to to get out. For the euro, for the time being, we are not seeing any reaction in in Europe. Uh, it's a deception for us. Mm -hmm. uh, they keep saying that this is an internal issue in Spain, and this is so, uh, something that Spain has to solve. But clearly, Spain is incapable to solve it by itself. So we are expecting that uh, Europe will intervene. Otherwise, uh, this would escalate, and there is going to be more strikes, and there is going to be a unilateral declaration of independence. Uh, there are here over 10,000 police uh, policemen sent by the Spanish state that they are going to stay here for as long as needed, and it will be more and more difficult to keep to keep it as a peaceful movement. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that it's a bad news for Euro. Euro have enough problems. They have the banks' problems in Italy that they've been keeping. The, uh, the European Union have keep them alive, even though they are in the gold rooms. Uh, there is the bad exit going on that this is going to hurt. So I don't think that opening a third front would be good for Europe. Yeah. We are going to issue a statement tomorrow saying attention that shortening the euro, even though a USD weakness, uh, it's something that could not be stupid to do. So I don't think it's good news for euro and uh, uh, for the euro, and uh, of course, it's very bad news for the European Union 
and to be perceived by its citizens as something more than just a, a, a state's political interest group. Understood. Well, uh, I won't keep you much longer, Frances. Um, thank you so much. Um, please go and join your staff. Stay safe uh, on the streets there in Barcelona and really do appreciate you taking the time to speak to us here on FX Street with uh, Core Finance. My pleasure, you know, anytime.